Okay, great. Good morning. My name is Vernon. I'm a native San Franciscan. I've lived in this area. Grew up, uh, hate Ashbury, then moved to the Bayview when the uh, hippies came, you know, because as kids, you know, we'd see cookies on the ground and, you know, you pick up a cookie and you eat it and you trip out because they had psychedelics in it. So, I didn't know my grandfather's name, nor my great-grandfather, but my father's name was William. He worked at San Francisco General Hospital as an equipment sterilizer technician. I was blessed in the fact that I had both my parents, you know, for the duration of their lives. My first contact with the penal system was in 1980, on my way to a cast party. By the way, I'm an actor and a singer. Um, myself and two other cast members got caught by the police snorting cocaine in a car. You know, by the Valencia Gardens. We all had our heads down, sniffing away, you know. We look up, police looking right at us. Don't know how long they've been there, but you know, they looking right at us. So we tell the other guy to blow it, you know, to put the cocaine on the plate, you know. And so we say, blow it. And he put it under the seat instead. So the cops, you know, pull us out the car. So two white cops, one female, one male. So uh, they searched us and everything, and me and one guy didn't have anything. And the other guy, he had something. So uh, the, the female cop said, well, you should let them go, you know, since they don't have nothing. And, and the, the male cop said, no, we ain't gonna let them go. And he looked at us, and he said, I wish y'all would have ran, because we ain't shot no niggas today. Ain't that nothing? Say that again. I wish y'all would have ran, because we ain't shot no niggas today, and they still shooting them today. Right. Ain't that nothing. So the other guy, they, you know, they searched him, and he got all this stuff on him. But you know how when, you, when you're together with your buddies, and you put your money in, and you know, one person go in and get the stuff, and he said, well, this is all I have. So we didn't know that he was holding out. You know, he had all, he had all this other stuff on him. You know, so we go to jail down on Valencia Street. And so I spent my first night in jail, toilet in the middle of the floor. I made sure I didn't eat because I was not going to be squatting in the middle of the floor while all these people looking. I didn't eat. I didn't do nothing. So I got out the next day because, you know, I got out on OR. So the next time I went to jail was, um, I was fighting with my wife over some cat litter. I had stepped on the cat litter and I was going to, you know, sweep it up. So she grabbed the broom, we tussling over the broom, you know, and she let go, hit the wall, called the police. I had just moved in the house. First night. And this was in Sacramento. So she called the police. They come take me right away. I had a little bit of hop in my wallet, a little bit of cocaine in my wallet. So they handcuffed me, put me in the back seat, said, you got anything on you? I said, no, I ain't got nothing. So they go back in the house, you know, talk to her. And I'm nervous and I'm sweating, you know, what am I going to do? So I, you know, get my wallet out and I say, well, where am I going to put this stuff? You know, because they were in spindles, you know, little spindles, y'all know, mm -hmm. you know. So I said, what am I going to do with it? And, and the back seat is plastic, you know, the floor is plastic. So, my God. So I said, oh. I, you know, with the seatbelt thing come up with you. <clears throat> so I dropped it down in there. He come back, go to jail. He, he pull in the lot. He opened the trunk. My heart beating like I don't know what. And I'm thinking, you know, he gonna look in the trunk and find this stuff. But what he did was just put his gun in there. So I'm in jail again in Sacramento. My, group, my cellmate was cool. He was a poet. He would do his poetry, and I would sing. And again, he got that one toilet in the cell. I can't do that. So I got to wait till the next day when they take us out, and I go use the bathroom somewhere else. But I am not going to sit on the toilet and stink up this little cell. <laughs> you know? But I started selling cocaine because I was the middleman. I used to always go get it for people. And so I said, well, you know, 
tired of being a middle man, I'm you know, just do it myself. You know, so I started doing it myself and then it became a problem. I was working at Bank of America and I would stay up all night and go to work and sleep all day. That didn't work. So I got fired. But when I had my kids later on, it changed my life. I said, I cannot, you know, do this and be with my kids. So from that day forward, I am here now. I thank God and I shame. Thank <laughs> you.